So for the past three or four weeks, the media have been yelling at you, shouting at you sometimes. China had nothing to do with this pandemic. Nothing. And anyone who says otherwise is a bigot. Now they've decided who is responsible for the pandemic. Fox News. It's Fox News's fault. I'm not afraid of the coronavirus, and no one else should be that afraid either. There's tons of hyperbole and speculation, none of which is helpful at all. Are we all just panicking about this? Should we just chill out and not worry about it? The entire problem we're having is due to panic, not the virus. Australia, with only 23 people infected, 15 already released from the hospital, announced an emergency outbreak plan. It includes designating stadiums for mass quarantines. By the way, uh, most people here think that is ridiculous, not necessary. This is not the time for partisanship. This president will always put the health and safety of America first. I'd love to have it open by Easter. Are we freaking out too much? Oh, Most people who have it have just mild symptoms. Correct. They're, they're just sitting at home eating uh, soup. There is no need to panic like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer want you to do. Anyone who is exacerbating the unease that the American people feel, shame on them, reject them. Level of derangement is off the charts. This is yet another attempt to impeach the president. It's like the Russia hoax. It's like the uh, Ukrainian hoax. This is yeah. another hoax. Sowing fear, panic, distrust. Coverage of this virus has been actually dangerous and counterproductive. And even though the numbers are going up, the hysteria level should actually go down. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. All the talk about coronavirus being so much more deadly doesn't reflect reality. Without a vaccine, the flu would be far more deadly. We're going to call out anyone and everyone who's using this virus as a political weapon against the president. The standard flu every single year kills tens of thousands of Americans. It's actually the safest time to fly. Everyone I know that's flying right now, terminals are pretty much dead. They have contained this thing. Let's everybody get about your business. They're scaring the living hell out of people, and I, I see it again as like, oh, let's bludgeon Trump with this new hoax. The president, he has been taking it seriously from day one. Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all because we were given a... Uh, 200 dead. What do you say the Americans were scared, though? I guess nearly 200 dead, 14,000 who are sick, millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. When you say me, I didn't do it. Uh, we have a group of people. I could, I could ask, perhaps, in my administration, but I could perhaps ask... Uh, these people are flying, it's safe to fly, and large portions of the world are very safe to fly. It's an unforeseen problem. What a problem. Came out of nowhere, but we're taking care of it. Now, the virus that we're talking about having to do, you know, a lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat. Because it's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Yes. And from our shores, we you know, it could get worse before it gets better. It could maybe go away. We'll see what happens. Nobody really knows. The fact is, the greatest experts I've spoken to all, nobody really knows. Don't listen to these people. They're the liars. I think that's pretty clear at this point.